close up, far away. I mean, you're already rolling, but I want to know what you think. Okay, so hey guys, get attention to detail. Today, we're going to be putting pinstripes on the 2007 Chevy Silverado. Now, a couple things you need to know is you need to get a good quality pinstripe. Uh, you can pick some of this stuff up at auto parts stores, and it's okay. It's decent, but I actually ordered this. I should say Ernie, my wife, ordered this online for me, and this is from a vinyl graphic shop, and it has a 10-year warranty not the fade or peel. So uh, the stuff that you get in the auto parts store, uh, you might get two years out of that before it starts fading. Uh, I've dealt with that, you don't want to do that. So anyway, get you some good pinstriping. Um, now, the next thing you need to do is just uh, figure out where you're gonna put it and then you need to make sure that there was no wax or anything on the side of the truck. Now what I've got right here, this is isopropyl alcohol. So I'm just gonna wipe down the side of the truck here where I'm going to have my pinstripe and I'm just going to kind of follow this body line right here across the side of the bed. Now you can probably see that I've already done the one across the tail or the tailgate here and I put a piece of tape here just so I can kind of mark where it goes and I did all of this by basically by eye. I didn't measure anything. Now you can use tape and put a little bit of tape on there and you know two three rolls wide or whatever that way you get it even on each side whatever works for you so anyway um putting this stripe on is actually quite easy uh, you just cut your piece out long enough to fit the body panel and that should be pretty close and my knife is on the other side of the truck so hold on just a second Uh, now I'm not sure that I really need to say this, but be careful you don't cut yourself. So, you need to say it. So that's that's the public service uh, announcement part of the video. All right. Now you'll notice that the stripe I have a thick one on top and a thinner stripe on the bottom. Which one do you like so, the best? I like the thick on the top. Um, <laughs> hey. So people are blowing it. Anyway. You. Um, it's really easy to put it on upside down and then it won't match what you've already done. So just uh, just be careful when you're doing that. Is that a whole stripe or is that two separate stripes that are parallel? These are two separate stripes and I'll show you here in just a second so that I get the backing paper. That figures I go to shoot the, vid the video and I can't get the backing paper off. But uh, there, see that's two separate stripes and they're actually held on at, at an equal distance by a clear plastic. Now I'm going to peel that clear plastic off when I get it on the truck. So what I want to do is, like I said, I'm just kind of eyeballing this to get it straight. Eyeballing. And that's pretty much where I want it. And then I'm going to pull the whole length out. now. You want to make sure that uh, you don't stretch the uh, the pinstripe. Also, um, you just want to kind of hold it up there until it's kind of kind of tight, uh, not not terribly tight, but you don't want to stretch it. And then just kind of lay it up against the truck, and there you go. You've got a uh, a pretty straight pinstripe now. You go back and you just kind of rub it and make sure that it, uh, it attaches to to the body. And uh, it tells you in the instructions to use a soft cloth. Now this is the same cloth that, uh, yeah, I've got a hump right there. I don't know how I did that. Um, so. The hump do is usual chance. This stuff is kind of forgiving that you can off try and lay it back down again is it forgiving before you take the, the little clear plastic but not after no uh, once you take the clear plastic off of it uh, yeah you're pretty much gonna have to put a new piece down so
Now, why are you putting pinstripes on this truck? Because I want to make this truck look different. Um, different how? Well, it is kind of my way of making it my own. Um, now, the reason why I chose electric blue is because that's like a navy blue, or as close to navy blue as I can get. And of course, being retired navy, of course, you wouldn't know by my shirt either. Um, yeah, so you keep saying do it yourself, and that's all you're doing is doing stuff yourself. Well, that's what makes good do it yourself videos, I guess. But uh, so anyway, got it on. It looks looks straight. I'm happy with it. Um, well, I said I was happy with it. I'm not so sure now. It looks like it's actually high on this end. So we're gonna do that one more time. Okay, maybe we're not. Okay, so we're gonna end up using another piece of tape. So that just cost me like two dollars. But uh, how much is that whole roll? Well, the whole roll costs like fifteen something. Fifteen dollars. So, yeah. To make the truck stand out. Yeah. Well. What is it standing out from? Like I said, it makes it mine. Oops. Don't, why are you doing that? Doing what? So anyway, it makes the truck mine. If you just put this blue rag on it, that and would make it the also, truck yours. It also. Whoever the previous owner was, um, it makes the truck look different. You know, it don't look like it was their truck. So, and and that's that's kind of my goal is to make it look like my truck, not theirs. Okay, because I was thinking that, you know, all the white trucks that are out here. And, okay, so Ernie brings up a really really good point. Really, what point is that? Here in Tell Arkansas, us. where we're at, um, we we hadn't actually noticed this until we got this truck the other day and uh, you know this this truck was actually a really good deal um, we got it for a good price drove it home got to looking around and there are hundreds of white trucks all over the place I don't know why white trucks are so popular here but they are and they look and, just like this one and there's, there's a hundred of them out there that look exactly like this one. And they're all in this little community. So, this is my way of making my truck not look like everybody else's. And again, that kind of goes back to... Look at to the way he's looking. He's got the same pinstripe look as the first time. Everybody notice that. Rewind the video and go back to the first time and look at that look on Ed's face. I might make that into a GIF. The same pinstripe look. Okay, I don't know what that is, but anyway. You'll see it. So yeah, um, you guys go back and look at the first cut, because uh, I had to promise Ernie that I wasn't going to edit this portion <laughs> of the video if she shot it for me, so I'm going to be true to my word. I ain't got nothing to hide, at least not there. So. got a big old bow in it. Where? It, it's, it dips. It only dips right there. Not the whole stripe. Joe K Models just uploaded a YouTube video. See, he's still subscribed to you guys. Yeah, it's just so many things going on right now out here in the middle of... Uh, nowhere. Nowhere. Literally nowhere. It is hard to get a signal sometimes. And uh, we just recently, like yesterday, got new phones and new carrier. And so it's better. But see, another white truck. Now that one don't look exactly like this because it's not the same kind. But yeah, another white truck. It just baffles me that with all the farming and all the dust and the dirt and everything that's in the air, why do people want white trucks? Why did it want a white truck? I bought this truck because it was a good deal, not because it was white. Mm -hmm. I, I really wanted a red or a blue truck, to be honest. Oh, goodness. A red or a blue one. So, yeah, um, trim the ends. And then I 
I've got some clear, uh, I don't know, it's like a varnish. I've got some, uh, some that I'm going to put over the ends to keep it from peeling. But uh, you go back and you take this clear piece off. And you want to do this at, a, at least a 90 degree angle from, from the, the stripe so that it doesn't peel the stripe off. And there you go. So that's how you put a pinstripe on. Um, you want to let it dry for a day or two before you wash the truck. Just make sure that it gets a good bond. Wasn't it just raining a minute ago? It was, but uh, it can rain on it all day long. You just don't want to wash it. So, but yeah. So, like I said, got the, got the rest of the truck to do over here, and uh, we'll be good to go. So, guys, remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.